Hey folks, welcome back to the third and final video in my series on the geranium puzzles, the 2D twisty puzzles from Very Puzzle. That's a lot of times to say puzzle in one sentence, but there you go. Uh, these last three are particularly impressive, and you can see from the one in front of you here, they are massive as well. I've had to zoom the camera out to even fit these in the frame. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is called the Super Geranium. Uh, again, this is a second iteration of this particular puzzle. Um, so these were also released, I think, fairly early in the history of the line of geranium puzzles. Um, however, uh, in 2018, they were revisited. The molds were redone to give better movement to the pieces. Uh, the circles were made larger, so they're easier to grab and turn. And they, again, changed the shape of the acrylic uh, backing board here to more closely hew to the edges of the puzzle, which I think looks very attractive. Um, you can hopefully get a, a kind of sense of the whole thing here. It's difficult to get it all in frame. Um, but you can probably see, if you look closely, that um, the reason why it's called the super geranium. So the center of this puzzle is actually a geranium. Uh, and this is, the, the base super geranium is essentially uh, an extension of the original geranium with five more circles around the outer rim. Okay, uh, And that creates some interesting dynamics here because... Um, if you, you know, of course the original geranium has these deep cuts between the different circle faces, right? Um, so these two turnable circles here, there's a large area of intersection between them. And when you move those circles, you're scrambling a lot every time you turn it. However, the circles around the outside edge here are shallow cut. Okay. So you can see here that, uh, there's a the shallower intersection between the inner geranium circle and this outer one. So my understanding is that uh, that leads to these two rings of circles behaving quite differently. The inner geranium behaves like a geranium. It scrambles quite thoroughly, although you do have blocking and bandaging introduced by these long pieces. Uh, the stems and, and these guys I still need to look up the name for those. There's a name for them. Um, but on the outside, there are some of these longer pieces that do not end up ever being scrambled out of their circle of origin. I think these stems in particular uh, down here at the bottom of each circle, they don't come out uh, into the center of the puzzle. So the outer circles have a more limited scramble than the inner ones. Um, so in a way, you're kind of combining the original geranium solve with something like the Olympic, where the circles are shallow cut and the scramble is more limited. And I'm not sure how you would really cope with that in a solve. I guess um, you know, having two parts of the puzzle behaving so differently is quite interesting to me. Um, and I expect it's going to make the solve a bit of a marathon because some of the pieces from these outer circles will get scrambled and they share colors with the interior circles, of course. So you may have some false equivocation or pieces that won't come out of their orbits in the way that you want. And I imagine that to be pretty challenging. I don't think it's going to be uh, you know, a whole new different puzzling experience than the original Geranium, but it'll be a substantial add-on to it. Um, as for the, the functioning of the puzzle itself, um, I'm really happy with this one. Uh, the circles all turn really nicely. You can see how smooth it is when I turn it. Um, because it is large, you really need to kind of hold it a bit flat like I'm doing here because the pieces are a bit loose to allow for the smooth movement. And if you hold it too vertically, it feels like the weight of the pieces above it start to crush down a little bit and reduce the smoothness of that movement, create some catching. But if you hold it flat, then it's not an issue at all. And the turning is, is really solid. Um, again, I haven't had any problems with stickers catching onto anything. Um, it's a really, really nice puzzle in general. Can't complain at all. Um, the other nice thing about this is that actually, um, if I wanted to get the solve experience of the original geranium, without having to replace my original geranium to fix the sticker rubbing issue, um, I actually could just use this puzzle and not turn the outer circles at all, right? If I only move the inner geranium, then it'll just be a geranium. Um, so you kind of have two levels of, of difficulty with this puzzle. You can just do the original geranium solve and not touch the outer ring at all, or you can add those in and have a longer and uh, more intricate solve experience. I think that's really a nice option to have. Um, but yeah, and the inner circles, um, it's quite hard to turn them when I'm holding it with one hand and sticking out from my body to be in front of the camera, but you can see the inner circles turn great as well. However, 
you do get that kind of thing happening where you just saw um, the pieces are a little bit loose, which I think is a good thing in general for movement purposes, but you need to kind of steady the other outside circles with your thumb or something. Uh, otherwise, the pieces might sort of jump in a way you don't expect while you're turning the inner ones. But in general, it's not a, a big problem at all. Um, and actually, if you, you know, even though I'm holding the puzzle at an angle in a kind of weird way to keep it in frame, uh, I can still turn it pretty much okay. So, yeah, it's a really high quality puzzle and it, it looks amazing. Um, the, the major downside of the super geraniums, there's two of them, and I'll show you the other one in a minute. Uh, is they're getting quite rare. I think they are so visually impressive and big and cool that people snap them up and they only made a uh, hundred of each as far as I remember. So there's only a few places left where you can get them. I think HK Now Store still has a couple of these. Um, I got these from a cubing store based in Spain called Cube Kings, both spelled with a K. Um, they were great. They shipped really quickly and shipping from Spain to Britain was only 10 euros. Um, with uh, DHL and everything went without a hitch. Um, that interestingly was the place where I got my butterfly that was misstickered, um, but that obviously wasn't their fault. That was a factory issue. But uh, yeah, they may still have a couple of them on Cube King, so do check them out. They they do carry some very puzzle stuff there. Um, I found a lot of Spanish language videos about the geraniums actually, and other very puzzle stuff. So I get the impression that uh, Spanish speakers for some reason uh, are more aware of what's happening with uh, very puzzled products and maybe they really like this style of twisty puzzle I don't know but um, there are some Spanish language tutorials and unboxings and so forth of the geranium series that I've checked out uh, over the last few months but yeah that's the super geranium an extended version of the geranium and can actually function as a geranium if you just don't touch these outside circles um, looks great turns great um, if it interests you I would unreservedly recommend it um, Definitely uh, a huge positive to have in the collection. Really appealing and um, really playable puzzle. So alongside the Super Geranium, we have this guy, the Super Geranium Plus. Hopefully you can see that there. Um, and the Super Geranium Plus follows the same pattern as the Geranium Plus in that it is essentially an unbandaged version of the Super Geranium. Uh, and as I mentioned, I don't have the regular Geranium Plus, but I do have this Super Geranium Plus. So you can get an idea of what the original Geranium Plus will look like, because that's the center of this puzzle. So here it is, Super Geranium Plus, and uh, right away you can see the difference. So once again, we have the exact same setup uh, in, the, in the center, where we have the uh, same deep cut arrangement of five circles, the center with orientation, blah, blah, blah. But now all of those bandaging pieces have been split and unbandaged, so they can be thoroughly scrambled. Um, my understanding is that you don't actually need a new technique to solve the plus versions of the Geranium or the Super Geranium Plus. Basically, you just do it by reduction, so you, you bring those pieces back together uh, as if they were the bandaging pieces, and then solve the puzzle like a Geranium or a Super Geranium. So you don't really need any new techniques, but I think probably there would be a more efficient way to do it than that by just uh, understanding the properties of those individual pieces and maybe doing something creative in terms of which pieces you're solving in which order. I don't know, but uh, maybe I'm just, uh, you know, thinking too highly of myself, but uh, I feel like there might be some artful things you could do um, differently than the geranium and super geranium solve to uh, be a bit more efficient. But uh, I'm hoping to get to know these puzzles quite well over the coming months and years, and maybe I'll find uh, some interesting methods to deal with that. Who knows? Um, but again, just like the Super Geranium, um, the puzzle looks great and, and turns great. Really have no issues at all uh, with the functioning of the puzzle. I'll just go around the exterior circles here and show you. Um, they move easily and smoothly in all cases. Again, nothing catching on the acrylic cover. Um, they have very convenient cuts here in the uh, acrylic cover. Um, you're easily able to reach all the circles you need. So again, I think they've tested the puzzle and they've thought about playability. Um, and in this redesign of 2018, they really, I think, settled on a, a great overall design for these products. They're, they just feel good to use. Um, 
I do think there's probably going to be some issues with stickers chipping over time because I don't get the feeling these stickers are the highest quality in the world. I think they're they're pretty nice in terms of the shades. But uh, I don't know. I get the feeling that um, they're not on the level of what you might get from an aftermarket supplier like Oliver's or Chewy's Custom Stickers or something like that. So I'm actually thinking to propose to those guys if they would be willing to make replacement stickers for the Geranium series because I would buy... Um, I would happily buy some sets of replacements from them just to have them, especially since solving these puzzles is an absolute marathon. I think uh, on the Twisty Puzzles forum, one of the people who solved the geranium, just the regular geranium, mind you, not the super, said that the solution was uh, at least on the order of about 900 moves. So when you consider you can solve a 3x3 optimally in 20 moves, uh, you know, this is a very, very big puzzle. And the super geraniums have five more circles to deal with, so even more going on um, but yeah so you can see how well everything moves um, again the inner circles as well are you know you do have to pay attention to the position of the outer circles but if I just steady this red one for example with my thumb just lightly then this inner circle turns absolutely fine no issues and the same with this one as well um, and as long as one of them is steady it seems that the others just steady themselves I don't need to you know, awkwardly grasp multiple of the circles to make sure they're all staying in place. Um, so again, a uh, really well-designed, highly playable puzzle. Uh, I think it looks even more impressive with the pieces unbandaged because there's just more stuff. Um, and if you go online and look for pictures of these things scrambled, they really do look scary. Um, so I'm looking forward to solving both of the super geraniums in the future. Um, again, I want to try and master the regular geranium first, so... I may have to turn to using the center of my super geranium as a pretend regular geranium. But one way or another, I'm going to work my way up to these monsters, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. All right, so let's move that out of the way, and now I can introduce you to the crown jewel, in my opinion, of the geranium series. And that is the geranium W. Um, when I saw this the first time, I knew I had to have it. Uh, it's it's quite gobsmacking, this puzzle. There we go. Uh, I think it's around about the same size as the Super Geranium Plus in terms of diameter or whatnot. Maybe, actually, no, it's bigger. Anyway, here we go. The Geranium W. Look at this. <laughs> um, it just looks crazy, doesn't it? Um, they basically took the idea of the Geranium V... So I think the arrangement of pieces is the same as in the Geranium V. Um, we've got a lot of shallow cut circles interacting here. Um, and they've just blown it up to massive proportions. Um, and what's interesting here too is that for the first time in any of the Geraniums, we have a complete circle in the center of the puzzle. Right? We have this kind of cream-colored circle there that's not having any bits chopped out of it by its neighbors. Um, all the other puzzles have uh, the circles coalescing in the center and, you know, a lot of intersections. But here we have one complete circle in the middle. And I think that gives it a really appealing visual symmetry. Um, around the outside we have, well, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors plus the eleventh in the center. So we've got eleven colors to solve. Um, and you can kind of see, so I, I haven't, I've, I've always tried to bring this back to the exact original solved state after I've been playing with it because I'm definitely not brave enough to scramble this bad boy yet um, and you can you can sort of tell that there are a second layer of interior circles going all the way around the puzzle right you can just see the beginnings of those here um, and the puzzle is cut such that you can just reach the bottom edges of those circles and from the top over here so let's see if we can actually create one of those uh, if I bring that here Maybe rotate this over here. Does that work? There we go. So now we have one of the hidden circles. And, okay, uh, holding this in my hand and turning this is going to be very hard. I'm not sure if I can actually pull it off. Maybe not. Uh, can I do it? Yeah, there it goes. Look at that. <laughs> Um, I don't want to go around the top here because uh, the way I'm holding this puzzle is not appropriate, really. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, 
Now, as you can probably tell, that's far from the only hidden circle within this puzzle, right? So I can rotate this bit all around the perimeter here, and I can open up 10 more. So we have 10 circles around the outside. Then we have 10 more hidden circles just inside there. Then Very Puzzle has said there's at least 10 more hidden circles that can be created within the puzzle, and possibly even more than that. And the thing is, the puzzle is so complex. There's so many types of pieces in so many locations that I don't. I think you'd need a computer to really enumerate all the possible shapes that this puzzle can take and where you can have more circles emerge. Um, so even though it, it is shallow cut around the outside, we have 10 turnable deep circles buried in the puzzle and then 10 more within that and then possibly even more hidden circles than that. Um, so there's no question at all that this massive assemblage of pieces can get very, very scrambled indeed. Um, and I, I, I could easily say that given the regular geranium, which is a fraction of the complexity and size of this one, is considered possibly the, uh, the hardest twisty puzzle on the mass market um, when it came out, this one is surely the hardest twisty puzzle of all time, the geranium W. Uh, there's so much complexity here, and I think even scrambling it would take forever because there are all these hidden circles you could use to, to very thoroughly scramble things. Um, and separating out all the pieces, getting a good scramble will take a while, and then solving it, forget it. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to know how many thousands of moves it would take to accomplish a solve of this, but someday I'm going to find out. Um, now, as far as I can tell, almost at least nearly all of the Geranium series have been solved by uh, very intrepid members of the MF8 um, forum in Chinese, and they published some very detailed analyses of most of the Geranium series, but notably, nobody seems to have tackled this puzzle yet. Uh, I don't know if anybody's planning to. I'm thinking of trying to find a Chinese colleague to help me ask the question on the forum and see what the status is. I'm sure it'd be quite a, a feather in your cap to be a uh, solver of difficult puzzles and to successfully knock this one off your list. I mean, this is an absolute beast. Um, and, you know, it, it looks beautiful, of course, as well. I'm sure a fully scrambled one would be quite a sight to see. Um, but I'm just going around here while I'm talking to show you that, just like the Super Geraniums, uh, the turning quality on this puzzle is fantastic. Um, every circle moves brilliantly well. You could see even from the weird angle I was holding it when I made the hidden circle, it was no trouble at all to find a way to get some purchase and get the turn going. Um, even just on the tiny little piece of it I had access to um, without blocking the camera. So every circle turns great. Um, no problems with catching. Um, you know, there's this big, thick, heavy duty acrylic on top to keep anything from popping. Uh, you know, it's a huge, massive, absurd beast of a puzzle, but absolutely playable for sure. Um, no doubt in my mind that, um, you know, you'd be freely able to uh, solve this many times over. Um, but I, like I said, because it will take so many turns to solve a puzzle like this, I do hope that uh, I could either get a set of replacement stickers, maybe even more than one set, either from Very Puzzle themselves for a you know small price, or um, maybe I could commission Oliver's or Chewy's to to make some replacement stickers for this. Um, but yeah, I, I was overawed when I saw this puzzle online. Um, then was immediately very sad when I found out that it really wasn't available anywhere. But I kept at it, kept looking for it, and uh, eventually I was overjoyed to find that Puzzle Master, a twisty puzzle and general puzzle store in Canada. They had one in stock, um, and the Canadian dollar is not so strong compared to the pound. So I got this beast, I think it cost me the equivalent of about 75 pounds, and the shipping was very cheap, although it took a very long time, I have to say, but it did get here in beautiful condition. Um, and I'm just, I'm really proud to own this puzzle, genuinely. I think this is quite an accomplishment that Very Puzzle managed to mass produce something of this just beauty and complexity. It's a really, really great puzzle to have in the collection. Even if you never solve it, you know, just to show this off to someone, someone who might say, why do you care about puzzles so much? What's the big deal? Show them this. You know, you can easily see the ingenuity and the craziness and the, 
you know, the creativity that goes into making something like this. And even somebody who doesn't do puzzles, I think, could appreciate that very much. Um, and, you know, particularly when you show them all the layers of hidden depths that are in here, you know, that we can just keep modifying the interior of the puzzle and creating these new turnable circles, you know. Uh, maybe this one. Oh, yeah, look at that. There we go. Sorry, I can't really turn this without getting in the way here, but you can see, once again, even with barely anywhere to grab onto, uh, circles, even these hidden circles are easy to turn. There we go. Let's just make sure I can get this back before I celebrate too much. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, we're safe. <laughs> uh, actually, having it at this angle was a little bit better because I could get my arm around it a bit more. But anyway... Enough gushing. Um, if you're only going to buy one puzzle from the Draenium series and you're more concerned about, um, you know, having a display piece than anything else, no question, you should find yourself the Draenium W. I do think there's still one on Puzzle Master. Maybe I'm mistaken. I haven't checked recently. But uh, I did check a few weeks after I bought mine, and it was still listed as in stock. So if you want it, grab it. Um, it's beautiful. Turns great. Nothing bad to say about it. Um, I think, you know, I'd be proud to have this in my collection for many years to come. I hope that someday they'll do something even more ridiculous. You know, give me another layer of circles. Why not? Give me 20 colors to solve. Let's just keep going. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a beautiful puzzle. Um, very, very playable and usable. Uh, and the, the colors that they've chosen as well are quite nice. They're all easily recognizable and distinguishable. We do have two purples next to each other, but they're different enough in uh in tone here that i don't find them uh in any way kind of easy to mix up so yeah genuinely have no complaints about these and in fact the super geraniums as well i think are really really fine puzzles um so i don't regret at all the time i spent hunting them down by uh, the money i spent buying them or the time it took to receive them um really glad to have these in the collection and i know for sure they'll be keeping me uh entertained for for years to come so that concludes my series on the geranium puzzles from Very Puzzle. I hope you found that informative. Um, as you can see, they're all really well made. Um, the only issues I have are with my copy of the original geranium, uh, which I think has hopefully a, a very fixable problem that I just haven't figured out just yet. Uh, but all the rest of them are, you know, function flawlessly, essentially. Um, they are a bit expensive if you're used to spending, you know, just. 10 bucks on a budget speed cube sort of price but for what they are i think the prices are really reasonable um, the geranium w is the most expensive and it's definitely kind of a boutique item so you know expect to pay accordingly it's not uh this is not your everyday puzzle you know this is something special something to be shown off and to to be treasured and the super geraniums as well in fact are reasonably expensive i think they're 72 or 76 dollars on the hk now store but if this is the kind of thing you want to have in your collection uh definitely worth it and i can vouch for the quality um like i said in a previous video i do believe that um the geranium series may go out of stock at some point on very puzzle and they're not planning to immediately bring them back into production so um Back around the turn of the new year, they had all the Geranium versions in stock, and then things started disappearing. So now you can get, I think, the Geranium, the Geranium Plus, the Olympic, uh, the Butterfly, and one other puzzle. I can't remember which one. I think there's five that are available now. But the, the Pocket Geranium, the Mini, uh, the W, both the Supers were all gone. Um, so you can only get those from third-party stores. So if there's any of those five that appeal to you, I would snap them up before they disappear um, because they might be gone for a while. I, I expect the occasional draining will pop up on the Twisty Puzzles Forum marketplace or on eBay potentially, but, you know, they're a, a, a niche within a niche, right? Within the Twisty Puzzle world, even a lot of people don't know that these exist. Um, so you may have to do a bit of work to hunt them down but definitely uh i've kind of decided belatedly that this geranium series of videos will go in my over the top playlist because i mean look at this thing <laughs> you know this definitely is an over the top puzzle it, they've taken the geranium concept to the extreme um and i i can't imagine at the moment there's a puzzle that exists that's mass produced 
that is more difficult than this one. Um, so they've they've really maxed out the challenge level here. So uh, if you're not sure about 2D twisty puzzles, but you are into over the top challenging puzzles, then that would be another reason to get the geraniums. Uh, at any rate, I'll stop here and stop gushing, but uh, you can tell I really love having these puzzles in the geranium series. I do hope to complete the collection at some point. The only ones I have left are on the smaller side, so it won't be uh, too much storage space to worry about. Um, and I do hope that when they reprint them again, maybe we'll have some new entries in the series as well, including, I don't know, Geranium X or something uh, truly outrageous. But uh, yeah, so these are the next uh, on my list of over-the-top puzzles in my collection. Um, and to me, these are particularly special and unusual um, and hopefully they'll inspire uh, some creators out there to do some more intersecting circle type puzzles and really get creative with this genre of twisty puzzling. So um, hope that helped if you were interested in this kind of thing. And uh, soon I will be having another over the top puzzle added to my collection probably in the next couple of days. So I'm not going to spoil the surprise just yet, but uh, once that comes in, I'll do a video on that as well and carry on hopefully um, giving you a nice sneak peek at uh, some really cool and uh, pretty insane puzzles that you can add to your collection. So I'll see you next time for that one. Take care.